Um, and if you look at the, the frame rate, there, uh, Mantle has some really key advantages that are very evident. One is that it is the, the only API that truly scales across the course. This is a really big deal. We can now tell a consumer, hey, you can buy a four core, an eight core uh, CPU that's clocked lower potentially, and you're gonna get the same performance. We've never been able to see or get demonstrability of this um, in any other graphics API. Um, the second thing that we're really, really happy about is that the, the more direct control is allowing the application to be more responsive and generally more reliable. So let me just show you a little bit about the, this is our, what we're calling our Starswarm demo. Um, this will be available publicly in, in weeks. In a few weeks we'll go public with this and anyone will be able to, to mess around with this themselves. It's completely modifiable. You can customize your content. You can add new ships if you want. Um, we want it to be as open as possible about uh, the benefits that we're seeing. So the Nitrous engine here is, is actually simulating over 5,000 independent spacecraft. Um, all sorts of things are being simulated. Every single blast is being simulated. Every single turret is being simulated and has a targeting solution. And you can actually see in the UI down there, it's, it's telling you uh, all the different gameplay logics. So this, isn't a, this is a full system test of the entire CPU and uh, graphics system. Thanks, Dan. Um, it's, it's great. I had to see a drop frame. Uh, we never see unexplained glitches. And the other really uh, exciting thing to us is very clear for us. If there is a CPU issue, where it's going. When we are when we're using Direct3D, it's very difficult. So the other thing, Dan, you mentioned to me uh, yesterday is uh, the interesting uh, power measurement 